Hi there. All too soon we are back again to our um, normal lessons and um, today we are going to discuss a couple of things in science. Our strand for today is forces and energy and our substrand is electricity and electronics. But basically we are going to um, talk more about or delve into the various components or elements that make up a simple electrical circuit and their corresponding functions. Now, let's quickly look at the definition of an electrical circuit. But before then, let's um, go through the keywords based on today's lesson. The keywords based on today's lesson are we have dry cell. Connecting wire, switch, bulb, circuit, electric elements, as well as components. Now, I would like you to, you know, say it after me this time around, and I believe you are going to be conversant with the following keywords dry cell, connecting wire, switch, bulb. Second, electric elements, components. Thank you very much. All right, so as I said earlier, that we're looking at the definition of an electrical circuit. Now, an electrical circuit is a continuous conducting path that electricity can move through. It is a continuous conducting path that electricity can move through you know when you look at the various you know devices that use electricity in your various homes I mean, such as television sets uh, radio sets uh, fans you know your air conditioners and blah 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 blah, blah you can you know realize that they all have copper wires switches and sockets connected to them all these constitute all these constitute the electrical circuits and they provide a path for the electric current to flow through i believe you're getting the point so the the devices that you use in your various homes as i, I mentioned earlier the television sets for example you know you know this they, they use those uh, components all right so let's quickly you know look at the components or the elements basically the simple ones you know that come together to you know make um, the, the electrical circuits simple electrical circuits you now have a diagram here that you know consists of the various simple electrical or the components of the electrical circuits we have dry cell or battery the dry cell or battery as you can see over here dry cell or battery we have the connecting wire the connecting wire this is it the connecting wire the connecting wire and then we have the switch or key the switch or key as you can see the switch or key we as well have um, uh, one component that is the bulb or the lamp. Bulb or lamp. Bulb or lamp. Uh, this is a light emitting diode uh, that is LED, LED, light emitting diode. Okay, then let's um, quickly look at the functions of each of the following components. The functions of each of the following components. Now we have dry cell. A dry cell is the source of electrical energy and it drives the electricity through various components in the circuits. It drives the electricity through various components of the circuit, the other components of the circuit. And the battery is made up of two or two or more cells joined together. It is made up of two or more cells joined together together 
Thank you very much. Now let's quickly move on to our next item or next component that is the lamp or the bulb. It contains a filament. The lamp or bulb contains a filament that converts electrical energy into light energy. It converts what? Electrical energy into what? Light energy. That is the bulb. And it can be referred to as a load. It can be referred to as a load. All right, let's move on to the next one that is the switch or the key. The switch or the key. It is a device that allows current to flow through a circuit when it is closed. It allows, you know, current to flow through a circuit when it is closed, when the key is closed. And it stops current to flow through the circuit when it is opened. So it is a device that allows current to to flow through a circuit when it is closed and it stores current to flow when it is what opened okay so let's going to quickly demonstrate that so as it stands now the circuit is opened it is opened so that is why the the bulb or the switch here is is off sorry the bulb or the lamp is off so we are going to close it to see if electric current it pass through it can pass through it all right wow as you can see so on this note the the switch or key is closed or complete so you can see the the led that is the light emitting diode is on it is on as you can see right here it is on so it stops or it stops the electric current to flow through it when it is what opened or incomplete so close open close open close open as you can see all right let's move on to our last you know item or component we are going to look at the connecting wire the connecting wire the connecting wire is a conductor which carries the current through the entire circuit so the Connecting wire actually carries, you know, the current through the entire circuit. It is, it also joins the various components together. It also joins the various components together. As you can see, it joins the various components together. It is usually covered with an insulator. So, a connecting wire must be a conductor. That is why I said it is a conductor. And a, conduct, a conductor, sorry, allows electric current to flow through it. So, the... As I said earlier on that it is covered with an insulator, you know, that is the rubber this thing. So inside it is a copper wire that is a conductor. But as you can see over here, the outer layer is an insulator. And an insulator does not allow electric current to, to flow through it. I hope you are clear with it. Alright then. So on this note, we are going to basically um, summarize our lesson. And I think uh, well, too soon we will maybe call it a day. And um, so I believe we, we, we've learned a couple of things. We looked at the definition of, of an electric current or an electric circuit, sorry. We looked at the definition of an electric circuit as well as we looked at the various components that come together to make a simple electrical circuit. And we as well look at the functions of you know such components. So um, I believe uh, we have learned you know uh, we've covered our objectives you know for today. The definition, we look at the various components as well as the their corresponding functions. So on this note, I wish you all the best of luck and stay blessed. Bye bye.